back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in um i hope you guys like my hair accessories oh my gosh i'm so in love please comment down on the section below to tell me what you think of these and if i look ridiculous tell me so that i remove them <laughs> okay anyway um as you guys all know i hate long intros so i'm just gonna jump right into the video so today's video you obviously already know by the title is going to be about how i got stranded at a festival well no it's actually a sunday cookout yeah to all my sowetans i'm pretty sure you know about this uh cookout i think it happens every year i think anyway so yeah now this goes back to a couple of years ago um when i joined a pageant um and with that pageant they were like we auditioned and then um after the auditions they were going to be selecting like the finalists that are going to be competing throughout the entire pageant um it was those pageants that went on for like a couple of months before the actual event so yeah so with that pageant came a lot of responsibility so if you made it to the finals then you were supposed to you know do a couple of activities you were supposed to attend workshops and you were also um, instructed to you know go to certain events to basically um announce the day of the pageant so that people buy tickets and then they're able to you know attend the event so the day of the event comes I'm not getting ready. I'm looking nice. I'm excited because, hey, I've never been on a Sunday cookout before. And by the sound of things, it sounds freaking awesome. So the cookout is at like a, a mini stadium, a cricket stadium. Oh my gosh, I feel like I already give it, gave it up. I'm sure you guys already know which stadium I'm talking about. So it was a, it's a cricket stadium. It's a cricket stadium, right, babe? It's a cricket stadium. Yeah. So it's a cricket stadium so now um i prepare myself and then i call the organizer and i'm like okay i'm ready you can come pick me up and then um she sends one of the core organizers the people that basically work with her and the guy comes to pick me up and then um we get to the gate and then um they're supposed to be checking the tickets and all of that stuff and as we are going in while they are checking for tickets, I'm excited because I'm meeting other contestants that are also part of the pageant there. It was this girl, she came with her friend. This girl was cute AF and um, I, I kind of liked her. Like I thought she was really pretty. So I really thought I would, like, ext I would extend friendship or whatever. But anyway, so like I'm excited that she's there and I'm thinking, okay, cool, we'll chill together, we'll chill together. But when as a, as we enter the gate, yeah, what I mean, the friend was snacks. Like the friend is just like because you know, she introduced us and I'm always like, you know, very bubbly, like, hi, I'm Zandi, you know, always with a smile on my face because I really don't want to make anybody feel some type of way. I understand that those people have rested bitch faces naturally. And I also understand those types of people that, that don't smile a lot. But I just use my smile as kind of an icebreaker. Anyway, so like I'm now on Sam. Okay, hi, how are you doing? I'm Zandi. And I'm expecting her to give me you know something you know what i mean like i'm not expecting a smile i'm not expecting you to be as bubbly as i am but like yabona man we taking snacks man that girl she's just like not having it she's just like hi minding her own business and i'm thinking oh my gosh girl what's up with your friend you know i really thought we we're gonna be hanging out together anyway so after that it's very apparent that we're not gonna be hanging out together so i just decided i'm gonna shoot to the organizer and tell her that same con cool stuff so i get there and i'm like okay girl i'm here where you at and then she directs me she's like no i'm by this tent blah, blah, blah. so i go there and she basically breaks down the itinerary of the day so she's like to me okay so what's gonna happen is 
uh, in a couple of hours, we're gonna, I'm gonna require two girls to come with me on stage and then we're going to be announcing the pageant and where people can buy the tickets. Okay, cool. So now nah, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, if you need me to be one of the girls, hala, I'm gonna be around. So she's like, yeah, cool. First thing I did, guys, <laughs> I went to a cocktail tent. <laughs> Of course, I went to go get alcohol when I got there. Like, psh, it's not even a shock. Like, trust me. The first thing I do when I get to Kondawing, I don't think of food. I don't think of anything. You know, it just give me something to drink. You know what I mean? Like, just give me something to drink. I Don't tell me about snacks. Don't tell me about food. I, 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 I want to drink an alcoholic beverage. Anyway, so I get there. It was actually a really cool um, cocktail tent and the alcohol was dirt cheap, you guys. I couldn't believe it. They were probably going for like 20 bucks, I think, 25 bucks. How insane. Um, and then, you know, I'm just trying to get in the mood. I'm still alone, keep in mind. <laughs> I'm still alone. And I'm just like, okay, all I need to do is just wait for... The organizer to call me and then we go on stage go on stage announce the event and then i have a moose out of here because wow i'm not going to be hanging out like this you know what i mean all alone bored by myself drinking i was just like no anyway after getting a drink i come across this girl of mine this bitch of mine anyway i'm literally i don't know if i should shut her out or something <laughs> But anyway, I come across her and we start hanging. She was one of my friends in the competition. She's such a lovely girl. She still is. I love her too, but anyway, so we get, I, I get, I bump into her and she's like, okay, listen, Z, let's do this. Let's drink. So she's already drinking, but she's like, no, I came with my mom and sister. So I really don't know how we're going to work this out. I don't know what time we're going to leave. And I don't know if they're going to ask me to leave with them. I'm like, no way, chill. For now, let's let's leave all of those things in the future. We'll attend to those when we get there, you know? Cross the bridge when we get there. For now, let's just get wasted. So she gets a drink with me and, you know, we start chilling and whatnot. Um, and then after a couple of hours, um, they made the announcement. I wasn't part of the girls that went on stage. <laughs> But yeah, after the announcement, the organizer is like, okay, great stuff. You have done your job. Now you can either chill or leave. Um, this, that's all at your discretion. And um, yeah, do whatever. Your job is done for the day. So I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't even do anything, you guys. You know, I honestly feel like I went there my highlight. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't even one of the girls that were called on stage. You know? But I was just like, no, I don't care. I had already started drinking anyway. So I was really trying to, you know, starting to get into my groove. So I continued drinking some mo. So now the party is on. I'm now, you know, just having fun. I'm not stressed about, you know, doing obligations of why I came there in the first place. Now I'm relaxing, right? I grab myself some, something to eat. After that, um, I drink some more, you know, I drink some more. My friend is with me. We are chilling. We are drinking. We're going from one post to the other. We're just having fun. So the event is an afternoon event. It starts around midday and then it ends at night. I'm not sure what time at night, but it's still, you know, it's headed to late afternoon vibes you know that's when a lot of people start coming in the music starts getting louder you know people are really starting to have fun you know the liquor is starting is starting to simmer you know after that okay as we're continuing to drink at some point i even got like free drinks from this guy that i came to know later on <laughs> Yeah, I literally got free drinks from him. But I feel like that was when I was already... I was already starting to be really tipsy. Like, and it was still midday. So now, as we're chilling, we're having fun, you know, dancing, drinking, eating, just listening to music. And I bump into a couple of people I know. At some point, I bumped into my ex. Ugh. And then I bumped into my relatives. And I just kept on bumping into such a lot of people, you guys. Yo... Johannesburg is too small, hey? 
Joburg is too small. Like you always bump into people, you know, when you go to Groove. That's so strange to me. It's like you can't even party Hamonati without bumping into somebody, you know. Anyway, so yeah, I keep bumping into people, but it's chilled, it's nice. The drinks are coming in, you know. I'm starting to, you know, get drunk. <laughs> Because I've been day drinking, can you imagine? I'm really, the alcohol is really in, like, you know? But I keep having fun. It's nice, it's awesome. Cool. And then my friend now has to leave because remember, she came with her mom and sister. So she had to leave. And so I'm just like, you know what, girl, you held me down, you know? Without you, I'd be chilling alone up in here. But yeah, because of those people, the many people I kept on bumping into that I knew, not a chance was I going to, you know, sit alone. Anyway, so after she leaves, shortly after she leaves, I bump into this chick that I work with. Um, so this chick, we, a couple of months before that, um, we were like representatives of some event and whatnot. And it was just the three of us and she was such a cool girl very beautiful and she came with her boyfriend and then she's just like yeah girl who are you with and i was like no i came alone i was chilling with my friend but now i'm alone she's like no no no, come chill here come chill here i'm with my boyfriend she introduced she reintroduces me to her boyfriend I'm like oh, i remember him yeah and she's like yeah i remember this girl blah, blah, blah. we work together and this guy's just like, yeah, 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 sure, sure. So I, I hang with them now. We talk about first impressions and how she met her boyfriend, just random things. After that, um, I go to the restroom. I go to the restroom. When I get to the restroom, um, I realize that my phone is about to die. My phone is about to die. And I cannot see the guy that I came with. Um, and I left my jacket in his car. So I got to the event, realized that it was really, like, it was really hot. So I was just like, can I leave your jacket in your car? And then he's like, yeah, sure, because we're going to go back together anyway. So, yeah. But now I realized that I cannot see him anywhere. And um, my jacket is in his car. But I was very stressless because back then Uber was very prominent, you guys. And I I was very codependent on Uber. So I was just like, okay, you know what? Not a not no stress. Um, I'm just gonna request myself an Uber. So I realized that my phone's battery is about to die. So I decided, okay, let me just switch off my phone to preserve battery. And then um, I'll switch it on when I'm about to leave and, you know, request an Uber for myself. No stress. Cool. So now I am go to the bathroom, do that, switch off my phone, put it in a safe place, guys. Put my phone in a safe place. I guess that's me. In my very alcoholic state of mind. Ne? I'm very smart. Switch off the phone, preserving the battery, putting it in my bag. Ne? So I leave the restroom. Go back to, you know, the girl and yeah. And then we continue to drink. So at this point, I'm really aware that I'm starting to get, you know, quite drunk. And that's making me uncomfortable. Like I'm such a control freak, you guys. I feel like if I'm unable to control my own state of mind, that just literally kills me. So I was like, no, I need to leave. You know, I, I, I got to go like this this is now time it's time it's time okay cool so i'm like okay girl like i'm gonna bounce out of here like i'm really starting to get naked and i need to leave it at this point it's probably around eight o'clock so then um i look for my phone as i am searching for my phone i realize i am in. i cannot find this phone i look for this phone for like a good 20 minutes i want to say it was it felt like a while i look for it everywhere i'm like come the fuck on the last time i saw this phone was when i put it in my bag what do you mean so i was carrying um those bags that just had that would just it, it the uh, it was a bag i didn't have a zipper and you just had to like you know you can just open it and whatever but then to me, it made sense. I didn't feel like it was risky because it was just 
on my arm the entire time and I was kind of closing it the entire time. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, could somebody have pickpocketed me or could I have left my phone in the restroom? So now this is me battling myself as to where last did I leave my phone? What's going on? Because I had been around, you know, chilled people, you know, but then again, I'm not sober, you know, so I'm not sure what the heck is going on. I'm panicking now. I cannot find my phone and I need to go home. Oh my gosh, you guys. So that's where a disaster comes in. I have no way to go to, to, to go home. I'm stranded now. It's at night. People are drunk. I just bumped into this girl that I work with who's with her boyfriend. And uh, I just hate con inconveniencing people. So now I have to beg for transport now. Guys, I legit didn't know what to do. Legit. Like, I legit didn't know what to do. So now I start looking for um, one of my like distant relatives that I bumped into. I come across it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost my phone. Now I'm hysterical. Ooh, guys, now I am hysterical. And I'm just like, I can't find my phone, blah, blah, blah. I need to get home. And she's just like, what do you mean? Where, when, where, what do you mean you lost your phone? You, I guess, no, it was, yeah, it got real. I feel like at some point I got sober. <laughs> After I lost my phone, like I just legit got sober. Anyway, so I come back to these girls and to, to the girl that I was hanging out with and I'm just like, fuck, you guys, I'm stranded, you know, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. So then um, she's just like, oh, shoot. Um, and we are, we live so far compared to, you know, where you're going, but don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. If this girl's not sounding like this, I'm just, I'm skeptical at this point. Like, I'm not comfortable. And the idea of me just scrounging for transport <gasps> just killed me, you guys. So now what happens is one of the friends, <laughs> one of the boyfriend's friends is like, no, man, come with me. I'll take you home. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> oh, babe, it happened a long time ago. Oh my gosh, he's jealous. He's like, of course he did. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, anyway, so yeah, one of the friends is like, no, come on, I'll, I'll take you home. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, number one, I have no idea who the heck this guy is. Two, I have no choice. <laughs> I really have no choice. Like, I am legit stranded. I don't know how I'm going to get home. I really felt like I was that girl who goes to groove and really doesn't have a plan. Do you know those girls? Like, I don't know what, how I'm going to get alcohol. I don't know how I'm going home, but I'm at groove. Oh, gosh, I don't like being that girl, you guys. Nobody should be that girl. Don't be that girl. <laughs> so anyway, I'm now that girl. And he's like, no, come on, man. I'll, I'll take you home. Because I'm desperate, all of that, those, you know, fears in my head, I'm just like, Sandy, you don't have a choice. You kind of have to, you know, wing this one. Like, you need to take the risk. <laughs> anyway, so I asked this girl, I'm like, oh my gosh, are you sure I should go home with him? She's like, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He's my boyfriend's uh, guy, my boyfriend's friend. Like, I, I trust him. I'm pretty sure he's going to get you home safely. Yo, guys, but still, it was so difficult for me to do that, hey, because regardless of the fact that, you know, she, you know, gave me the go-ahead, it still made me very uncomfortable because this is a total stranger to me, you know? So, but anyway, I went on and I did it anyway. He drove me home. Luckily, home wasn't too far. So then when we get home, he's like to me, okay, um... So now we've been talking all the way in the car and he's like, um, oh, hey, can I, can I get your numbers? Like I knew, you know what? I just knew that was going to happen. I knew that I was going to have to pay got something, you know, and I just had to pick up my numbers. Like, ugh. and then, yeah, of course, I mean, he didn't give me much choice. 
can you guess what I did? If I gave him my numbers or not? Of course I gave him my numbers because wow, God knows what would have happened if I was like, no. And he drove me all the way home. <laughs> so I kind of had to give him my numbers. But best believe, after I gave him my numbers, I never ever spoke to that guy again. I never even saw his face again. I think I blocked him or something. I really think I blocked him. Because you know how these guys are so smart now, you'll give them your numbers and then they'll call you immediately. And I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for giving me your numbers so that I block them. Thanks. Yeah, you think he's smart? Well, guess what? You have another thing coming. Anyway, so yeah, then I got home safely and um, it wasn't too late, obviously. I found my mom. My mom was like, oh, how was it? And I was like, yeah, it was chilled. It was chilled. <laughs> and so nothing happened as though I wasn't stranded literally an hour ago. <laughs> but anyway, all around, um, it was actually awesome. And I really enjoyed myself. I would definitely do it again. But yeah, I would never go to anywhere else without making a plan. It's such a stress. Super stressful, scrounging for transport, you guys, and not knowing what you do. Like being that girl. Like it's, I can imagine how annoyed people get with you. But anyway, you guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave me a like and of course drop a comment if you want to tell me anything okay just drop me a comment you can also reach me on instagram my instagram handle obviously on screen anywho you guys thank you so much for tuning to this video today's video oh my gosh i'm literally slurring i know why i'm slurring <laughs> okay anyway y'all thank you so much for tuning into this video um see you later bye